Now what's up guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, then um... Why aren't you subscribed? Like, literally, we tell you every video, and you're not subscribed. Go hit the subscribe button right now! And leave a like on this video if you guys enjoy today. We are going to be unboxing the new Root Industries Air Wheels. I hate Root Industries, don't you? I do, I do. Oh! oh they actually it's the Eagle Sparkle Wheel that I was supposed to do a giveaway with, and I never gave it away. Wonder why I didn't give it away? Because they're not subscribed? Because I chose the winner, and the buddy never responded. I'm just going to give it to, like... I was going to a different to comment. Today we're doing a top five video once again. We're doing top five discontinued scooter parts. So these are parts that don't get made anymore. You can somehow find a brand new one if you guys look deep enough on the dark interweb. Impossible. To get no quantities. Off. There's zero quantities. We're going to start with number five and then go to number one. So starting at number five, we got the district aluminum bars. So best way to describe these bars was they were the ghosts. They were they so good. I can't remember the dead stock dimensions. What were they? I don't even know, but they were aluminum bars. They were super light. Everyone Literally the old age reapers. You probably know these bars from like Jake Angelus. He used to ride these bars. They're basically like, yeah, the old age reapers. Yeah. They're the best for like park riding, but uh, they unfortunately discontinued these bars because they lost the rights to like, you know, all their scooter parts. This shit went broke. <laughs> we actually don't care. <laughs> Yeah, this went broke and like they couldn't afford their bill for their factory or whatever, their rent. So, get this, they had to pay the people by giving them their designs for all their parts. I did not know that. That's actually crazy. <laughs> yeah, I guess what these people did. They what? created long gay pro scooters. No, they didn't. Actually, what? I did you not know, know, this know that. This is old ass news. I did not know Dude, that. Dude, you all clearly don't I knew watch long scooter way. Rad. I knew that. <laughs> Just one more thing about these bars. These bars were light, they were really good, but they did snap. A lot of my friends Yeah, they're them. aluminum, so like yeah. they do snap. You guys gotta get the high density aluminum. I'm not sponsored by V or anything, but I feel like the only good aluminum bars are V Reaper V3s. On to the next part. This next part kind of got discontinued because it was kind of edgy. No, I'm just kidding, it was just heavy. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it was just because it was heavy. So this is a Phoenix part. You guys all know Phoenix, the notorious brand that dropped all of their riders. I think they kept like one person. We gotta check. Check right now while I talk about this clan. Okay, so it's the Phoenix Grenade SCS. It's like an SCS where it's actually shaped like a frag grenade. Probably thinking in your head like that is way too big. That is just unnecessary weight. And you're right. But at the same time, it's kind of hash, kind of cool. Like think about that, like a grenade clamp. You could probably like get some bomb ass clips if you know what I mean. It was funnier. That right? was so good. No, that's actually good. It's funny in my head. Like... This clamp, I'd probably actually ride because I'm not that much of a weight weenie. You're already riding was SCS. It SCS or a clamp? It was SCS. I would have rode those back in the day. It came so. in a bunch of different colors, like green, purple, blue, black. They're not even a thing. No, I looked up. What, what's their Instagram? It's Phoenix. I'm pretty sure they deleted their Instagram. There's no way Phoenix deleted their Instagram. In the middle of our video, we're about to look at Phoenix and they deleted their Instagram. They might have got banned because they used a like bot. Guys, I think we just found out that Phoenix is no longer a company. <laughs> we're trying to find them on Instagram. I don't keep Wait, look at I didn't even know. Look at this. Phoenix Pro Scooters. User not found. Yeah, I guess Phoenix is dead. They probably had an accident with those grenade SCSs. <laughs> We are funny. So Phoenix is not a company anymore. Neither is this clamp. So on the next part. So the next part on this list, we're gonna start getting into the money parts. Like these parts are the good parts. That love like, these parts. Like we actually I'm miss these I'm parts. Sure. The NV AOS V2. My favorite. Oh my god. I never rode the V2, but I rode the V3. A few of them I had the Jesse Ikea. Wait, 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 wait. Did you have the Jesse Ikea? Yeah. Dude, I had nobody the asks. Ikea. Nobody yeah. cares. Yeah, you can, you can make that. Yeah, see ya. Yeah. <laughs> the V2 was the lighter deck, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the V3's got a little bit heavier, but the V2's were smaller. They were 4.3 wide, which is like too narrow. Like 4.3 by 19.5, and then they weighed in at 2.6 pounds. Yes, 2.6 pounds uncut. 2.6 pounds. That is so light. I don't have the dimensions for the V3's, but there's I, a bunch I'm pretty of sure there were, there were tons of different ones. I'm pretty sure they were all 4.5, but some were like, one was 20, one was 19.5. Yeah, there's a bunch of different sizes because there's a bunch of different signature ones, but... Uh, little, little... Uh, I gotta talk about this. When they made these decks, there were a few riders on the team, and one of them actually left. I don't know if you remember Ryan Upchurch. He's kind of irrelevant now. He had a V3, which was blue, and it discontinued. Barely anyone got it. Dude, I don't know the weird part about Ryan Upchurch, Ryan Friendly. He was riding for Epic at the same time as he was riding for Envy. Yeah, it was weird. Enough of that That's guy, not he's irrelevant. <laughs> Envy AOS V2 and 3 were the ultimate park deck. They were really good. I'm sure a lot of you guys at home miss those decks so, so much. So many people have those decks. I know, they were good. A lot of people still have the V3s. If you guys have a V3, make sure you guys comment down below because we actually want to know. So on to the God tier parts of this video. So uh, can we just get like a, a drum roll real quick? 
the District Cam Ward and District Brandon James decks. I'm sure you guys saw this coming. These were the best decks to ever roam the earth. District Cam Ward, I love, but I kind of got over it because it's a little too short. 20.5 by 4.75. They had barely any foot room, but they're just so nice. Like, name a better white deck besides like the native deck. Actually, native deck's bad. But these decks just felt so nice. Everyone was riding them. I actually originally got it because everyone in Magic and Flask was riding them. Everyone who was winning. Like Hayden Tansley, Tom Shana, all had the freaking white Cam Ward. I'm just like, so sick. Cam Ward was nice. Yeah, you guys already know. The problem with it was like the head tube. When the front wheel was like turned around backwards, like oh, the fork, it dragged yeah, if you had a 110. rub against it. Yeah, so you needed to ride 100s, but I just got like, you know, a sander and I could ride perfectly fine. After the Cam Ward, I got the Brandon James deck, which I liked a lot more. The Brandon James deck is actually 4.75 by 21.8, so it's a bit more like, you know, street, more foot space, even though these decks just like had no foot space at all for the length. So them. They had some pretty cool graphics on both the decks, but I think the BJ was definitely better. So like I rode the BJ this year for a while. Got some dope clips on it, you know. Put a couple to the right. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> that was a bang. Go whip to board. I'm just flexing on everyone. But like these decks were god tier. They both weighed like 3.2 pounds. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, I think we did a pretty good summary of all these parts. You guys might have not known any of these parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's technically six. Technically six because we contain the two together. Yeah, whatever. But we're still gonna say top five because it's more artsy. So uh, if you guys enjoy this video, like the video because like if you I like it, you like it. Slap that like button. Slap that like button right there. I'll put it right there. Green. Slap it. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe down below for more screwy content. Make sure you guys follow my Instagram. Put it right there. And Evan's Instagram is gonna be on the screen too because you know, good old guest, good old homie from Ontario is gonna be going back in a couple days, which is really hype. Can't wait. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys do everything I said, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.